Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and today I'll be bringing you another What's on My Android, this time for my Nexus 6. Now you may remember that I did one recently for my OnePlus One, but since there are a few differences between that and my Nexus 6, I thought I'd go ahead and show you what I have on my Nexus 6. So without further ado, this is my What's on My Android Nexus 6 edition. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now the first thing you may notice about my Nexus 6 is the back skin or the way that the back looks. This is a black carbon skin from dbrand with a titanium M logo cutout skin and the limited edition colored X logo. Now I really enjoy their skins because they're very precise and the quality and feel in the hand is just great. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested and also there's going to be a link down below to pretty much all the apps that I talk about so be sure to expand the description down below to go ahead and take a look at all of those but anyway taking a look at my home screen you'll notice that I'm back to using a custom launcher this is the Nova launcher I'm also using a widget and icon pack and I decided to switch back because I noticed that I get better battery life while using Nova over the Google now launcher so up top I've got a really nice looking widget from developer Jacek Melanowski I don't believe it's in the Play Store but if I can find a link to his Google Plus post where he shared it I'll be sure to do that uh, and then uh, right below that I've got some recently used apps like Instagram snapchat and Phoenix which I use for Twitter I like to use Phoenix just because it's really simple and I like the sparse options to customize it I don't mind that there's a few options and uh, it just looks really nice to me the gestures and everything is just something that I'm really used to so that's what I use for Twitter now I've also got the usual Gmail Google Plus Play Store Messenger and Google Play Music has actually replaced Spotify I decided to replace it just because of the bang for buck so for two dollars less than what I would pay for Spotify I get YouTube background audio uh, offline viewing in YouTube and plus I can cast my music to a Chromecast and uh, change the thumbnails I can download the music to my watch and upload my own songs and have it sync real seamlessly so it's just basically what I get for the price that's the reason why I switch back but I really enjoy uh, Google Play Music and that's what I use I've also got this cool little swipe over feature in the dock to get to some of my other apps that I use frequently and keep my home screen looking nice like studio Chrome photos hangouts and then nine gag for just funny, random, interesting pictures and GIFs, or memes and GIFs, I guess. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at what I have inside my app drawer. So taking a look inside, you can see that I have, uh, of course, a 9 gig app, and then the Android Wear from my Moto 360. I've got Cabinet, which is what I use for file managing. I'm not in here very often, but if I ever need to use a file manager app, this is what I use because it just looks really nice. And it's got quite a few color options, and it's just what I'm used to. So I really like using Cabinet. So if we go ahead and back out of there, you can see I've got the usual Google or stock applications, and then Ding Dong, which is a game that I'm planning to feature. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, Dropbox I use for APKs and wallpapers uh, mainly and then I've also got the usual earth and mail and all that good stuff and then flat shade icon pack which is by the same developer as that widget and the flat shade theme uh, for signage mod 12 that I took a look at recently uh, it's currently in beta but I believe it's on the play store and it's looking really nice I'm following progress and I'm really liking the way that it's coming out so if you guys are interested uh, definitely check out that link down below so continuing on I of course have the Gmail Google stuff and G task which I use to keep track of my homework assignments and YouTube video due dates. Uh, I really like using GTAS, got nice design to it and it syncs across with my Google account. I've also got Instagram and the usual Google apps as you can see and One More Dash which is from the developers of One More Line. It's a really fun game that I'm planning to feature as well. I've also got Periscope, you can follow me there, it's just my name Alexander Reese. Now Plastics is a Zuper widget skin pack, it's pretty cool, um, I'm not actually using it at the moment but they do have some nice widgets and then all the play applications as you can see here and Pocket which is really nice for saving articles, images, videos and links uh, for later if I can't see them at the moment. Um, and then I've also recently got into podcasts. So Pocket Cast is a beautiful app for keeping up to date with any and all podcasts you follow. Now I've just got a couple podcasts here which I have because they've been recommended to me. Um, but I think the app looks really nice and uh, I enjoy using it. You have different appearance options like light and dark theme. You have the option to uh, auto download certain podcasts when you're charging on a Wi-Fi network, etc., etc. It's got a ton of options and it looks really beautiful. It's uh, basically the best app that I've seen in the Play Store for podcasts. So it's what I use whenever I want to listen to a podcast. 
Now, right next to that, I've also got the Polycon Icon Pack, which uh, is the icon pack that I'm currently using. Uh, like I said, I think it's in beta, but I think it's also available in the Play Store. I'm not exactly sure how many apps it has. I really couldn't find a number, but it looks really nice, and uh, the developer is doing a pretty good job of making these icons look really colorful and nice. I've also got Push Bullet, which is super convenient for sending images, links, files, whatever notes uh, to your other devices with pushboot installed or your computer so you can basically just go ahead and type out a quick message or insert an image and you can fire it off to another phone you have a tablet or to your uh, web browser your uh, computer and it'll go ahead and open it right away and there you have it uh, it's really nice and convenient if you're sending pictures back and forth from your computer to your uh, phone or from your phone to your computer another app that I have is remote desktop which is super convenient if you're away from your desktop but you need to control it for whatever reason I find myself using it pretty often whenever I'm in school uh, so yeah that's what I use whenever I need to remotely control my desktop and it's from Google so you can rest assured that your credentials are with Google it's pretty cool and moving on I've just got snapchat studio wallet YouTube super widget that kind of stuff so that's pretty much it though I don't have a lot of apps and like I said in my one plus one what's on my Android video I don't really need a lot of apps but I would love to hear what you guys are using down below in the comment section so make sure you guys let me know what your favorite apps to use are uh, and that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video I hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to hit that like button subscribe down there for more because I've got tons more coverage planned uh, uh, and thanks again for 5,000 subscribers. If you guys didn't catch me on Twitter or Google Plus or Periscope thanking you, I want to say thanks to uh, subscribing to me and uh, just supporting me. Really appreciate it. But anyway, guys, I will leave a link down below to all the stuff that I mentioned in this video. And don't forget to follow me on Google Plus, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Periscope. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.